Okay, that's Helga. That's the new shoe. How about you, Katina? That's okay. A wolf? All right, cool. How about you, Mary? Which favorite animal? Sea turtles. My my favorite animal is also sea turtles. That's my favorite. Okay, so if you, who's excited to be here tonight for night three? All right. Now, uh, Mr. Alex, go to the the next slide. Okay. First night we had volleyball. Who can remember what we learned? Something we learned from night number one of volleyball. Why did we learn? Okay, spike was one way you could hit a ball in volleyball. Um, I don't know. Ball. 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 Okay, we're missing one more. Avery. Um, what else we learned about volleyball? Bump. Set. Yes, yeah, so you bump, set, and spike were three ways we learned about volleyball. Last night we learned about soccer. Soccer. Now, a lot of you have already played soccer before. I've seen you up at the fields and things like that. Did anybody learn anything different or anything maybe new about soccer last night? Maybe something you didn't really already know. Yeah, Sam. Uh, it was the highest grade football. Yeah, you passed with the, with the side of your foot, not, not off the end of your toe. That's a good one. And one more child is a ministry that helps kids that are in vulnerable situations. So we're going to start first. We'll have the boys come up first. Boys can come up, and they can put their um, put their offering in this one, in this side. Yeah, because we'll, we'll and girls can come over to this side. Boys over here. Boys are making. All right, boys are getting started tonight. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, and remember, let your group leader know, know if you brought money for the offering tonight, because anybody that has something for the offering gets five points added. On Friday night, what's something that's going to be fun Friday night? Lexi? We're going to be eating food. We're going to be eating food, okay? All, all, if you're going to eat something, only yeah, eat food, okay? Make sure you, if you're going to eat it, if it goes in your mouth, make sure it's edible. Reagan? Watching a movie. Who knows what movie we're watching? Nobody. Air Bud. This is right. What do you think, Elijah? It is going to be a sports movie. Okay? It'll be a reveal. We're not going to announce it. Mr. Ox, you think you know what it is? Shrek 3. Shrek 3. Is that, that sports movie? There's sword fighting. Oh, okay. Fencing. Okay. Fencing did not make it to the BBS cut for this for this year, maybe next year. Um, cool. So we'll be watching a sports themed movie, family friendly sports uh, movie on Friday night. We're going to have hot dogs. Are you going to like hot dogs? Okay, if you'll make some noise if you like candy. We're going to have donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to have some food, I'm assuming chicken from KFC. Cupcakes. We're going to reveal our mission school. We're also going to have peanuts and popcorn and some concession stand type food that night too. So remember, on Friday night, if you bring family and friends with you, your parents can come, grandparents, aunts, uncles, they can all come. And you also get five points for any family member that comes that night too. We have our Bible. We're gonna have our sports quiz and then our Bible lesson. So let's do this. Let's count off by threes. So if we can go like this, let's do one, two, three. One, two. I owe you three. Ada, one, two, three. Elijah, you're one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cooper, one. Are you two? Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one. Let's look at all the ones over here on this side, on this side, in this row right here. All the ones over here. Let's have all the twos right in this row with Miss Amy. And let's have all the threes in the row with Miss Desiree. All the three. Fun fact, he's actually Canadian, but he was in American. Okay, next point. In which country is basketball a major sport? Is it A, Canada, B, USA, C, United Kingdom, or D, Jamaica? In which country is basketball considered to be a major sport? Let's start here with Miss Desiree, if you can choose someone from your group. Okay. 
Lexi, is it your, are you answering? Okay, we need, okay, someone from your group, we got someone from, are you guys number two? Five, four, oh, what team is this? Team three. Okay, team three. Sam, you got it? Which one are you going with? Okay, Sam's going with B. Let's go here with uh, team, team two. Okay, Avery's going with B, USA, and Elijah. Well, and Canada. Let's see, Mr. Alec, for the answer. The answer was B, USA. USA. Now, one point for each of these groups here. I mean, we looked at the past two nights why rules matter. Why do rules matter when we play, let's say, volleyball? What do you think, Alexis? Why do rules matter? Okay, it makes it fair so everybody's playing by the same rules. What's another reason why rules matter? Why are rules important? Right here? Yeah, if everybody's playing by the same rules, you can kind of pick up and know what to do and what's going on. So for tonight, in basketball, one of the basic points. Okay, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1. I'll say it first. You just read it while I'm saying it, and then we'll say it all together, okay? Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1 says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Can we say that together? Ready? I'll say Proverbs 27, 1. We'll all try to say it together. Ready? Proverbs 27, 1. Boast not thyself of tomorrow. Good job, go ahead and take your seats real quick. Now, what that means is boast not as up tomorrow. Don't think that, you, that tomorrow is guaranteed. Okay, and everybody here tonight, tonight is, let's see, who's the youngest one here tonight? Mr. Alex, how old are you? Six. Six? Okay, Mr. Alex is six. Is everybody <laughs> younger than six? Well, I'm three. Three? I don't think you're three. I don't think you're six either. Though, so. <laughs> Okay. Brenner, how old are you, bud? Okay. So, who's the oldest one here? All, 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 all the kids that are participating. Okay, how old are you, Matthew? Okay, is everybody older than 11? Okay, Cooper, how old are you? Maybe older than 13? Are they 13? Melanie? 14? Lucas? 99. 99, congratulations. Good for 99. Okay. So, but think about, I want everybody to stand up really quick. Okay, stand up real quick. Okay, everybody here tonight, it's part of BBS, would be considered young. Okay, um, but, the, but what the Bible says is no matter how young you are, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. Um, you guys go ahead and take a seat back, take your seat real quick. I'm gonna give a couple examples that I've seen in my own life to kind of prove that to be true. Um, I'm 41 years old. Does that sound ancient to everybody else? If you, if you no. think 41 is old, okay. Woo! Your dad and I actually went to high school together, so that made me a saint. If you think it's old, okay. So when you're 10, 11, 12 years old, when you hear 41, that sounds like a really old number, but I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna go really, really quick. You are? Congratulations. Well, that when I was when I was 21, my, my best friend actually passed away and went to heaven when I was 21. That was, that was really, really, really young. Um, but the jersey I'm wearing tonight, my, uh, some people might wonder, well, what is, are you a Maryland Terrapins basketball fan? I'm not. I'm actually a Duke fan for basketball. But the jersey I'm wearing is a jersey of a man named Len Bias. Well, Len Bias was a phenomenal basketball player. And in 1982, he was selected number two overall in the NBA draft. Um, have you ever heard the name Larry Bird before? Have you ever heard that name? At that time, the Boston Celtics had a superstar named Larry Bird, but they had not yet won any games. Uh, any championships. And they thought when they drafted Len Bias that they were going to have this powerhouse team that's going to win lots and lots of championships. But Len Bias was drafted in the NBA, lifelong dream fulfilled, and two days later he passed away. Okay? So what does the Bible say? You're not guaranteed for tomorrow. Now why does that matter even when you're young? Because you need to know where you're going to go when your life comes to an end. Okay? A lot of, a lot of you had questions this past week about salvation. Salvation is just very simply knowing that when you, when you pass away, that, that, that you would be going to heaven with Jesus. The Bible says that God loves us so, so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And that, that not only did he die for our sins, but he rose again for our sins too. Some of you uh, talked to adults about that last night. Some of you still have some questions today. So the, the, the spiritual lesson for tonight is if you're not sure where you're going to spend eternity, find out tonight. 
Don't just assume and say, well, I'm young. I've got years and years and years and years to get that settled. You might not. Okay? You never know what's going to happen. We're not guaranteed anything else. Um, we don't know what's going to happen even when we leave here tonight. So we want to make sure that our eternity is settled, okay? So let's have every every eyes closed. Later. I think if we just hide. All right, wait, stay right there, stay right there. I need you guys all to come over here. All right, you can stay. Are you spending your points? Yes. Go to the second row. And the second row. Are you spending your points?